How are subqueries similar to joins? Now, take a look at these two tables, the employee table and the department table. How would you join them together on depno equals depno? They both have a primary key, foreign key relationship. So that's how they're similar in subqueries. I said select everything from the employee table where the depno was in. And then in the bottom query, I said select depno from the department table. And that's how they're very similar. When you're going to use a subquery on two different tables, they will have a common key that has the same data type. It's called the same domain because it's the same range of values. In other words, these were modeled so that they could be joined or subqueried together. Here's a little Terra Tom trick that'll help you out when you're doing subqueries between two different tables. You usually have a join on a primary key, foreign key relationship where depno equals depno or on depno equals depno. It's going to be the same with your subquery. Select everything from employee table where depno is in. Select depno from department table. That's the teammates working together with two columns from the same domain. But it's usually the same primary key, foreign key relation. So when you start to look at two tables and say, what do those have in common? Look at the first column of one of the tables. So you might look at the employee table and go, is it employee number? Look at the department table and go, is it department number? Oh, department numbers over here in the employee table. Those are the common keys that I'm going to do the subquery on. When do I do a join and when do I do a subquery? You know, in many cases, it's kind of doing the same thing joining two rows based on a common key, here's your rule of thumb. If your report only needs information from one table, but it depends on another table to get it, do a subquery as we've done right here. But if your report needs some columns from one table in the report, some columns in the other table also on the report, then you're going to do a join. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out CoughingDW.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.